Hey, this is Adam with Productivity Academy. Uh, today I want to show you real quick how you can use Zapier and Slack to get some really cool notifications. Um, this is similar to uh, having like starred uh, emails in Gmail and having those go into Todoist. Um, this is pretty awesome. I really like this and it takes just a couple of minutes to set up and is really handy. So um, let's get into that real quick. Uh, before we do that, if you want to, you can of course subscribe by clicking below and subscribe to the channel so you get updated when new videos like this come out so you can hopefully save a few minutes or even hours um, or just you know figure some new stuff out in terms of staying productive and getting better processes in place. Um, also there's a link below if you want to um, sign up and from time to time email subscribers do get some uh, some good stuff and some uh, some special help in terms of um, you know I like doing reviews or helping people out in terms of uh, looking at their productivity flow things like that so if that sounds good to you click on that go sign up but let's uh, get into this so if you use slack at all um, you may know that you know there's a lot of commands and a lot of add-ins you can do which is really cool um, so if you have your own way of doing this that's great uh, but something I found was when I star something in Slack, I want to add it to Todoist or another service. So I found this to be really helpful. Uh, you can't, as far as I know, do this with IFTTT. Um, and a lot of people stay away from Zapier because they say, you know, oh, I got to pay for it. It's not any good. But you can get a free account. Okay, so you can't do multi-step zaps, which we won't get into here. Um, and you can only set up like five zaps, I think. But that's perfect because all you need to do um, is connect your Slack in here. So we're going to go into Make Zap, and you can choose Slack as your trigger because that's what's going to happen. You're going to star something in Slack, and then it's going to create a Todoist. Um, let's so let's do this. So new message posted anywhere. New message posted to channel. New starred message. So I want to do new starred message because I want this to kind of be a special action. Okay, I've already connected my Slack account. I'm going to save and continue. Doop, doop, doop. It's thinking, it's looking. Um, I couldn't find it because I've had it uh, set up to a test account, but we can skip test and continue. But again, you can test that if you need to. All right, so we continue. And then what we want to do here is we want to use Todoist. Um, and this is going to be funny because I think I might not have hooked it up to this account yet. <laughs> um, so let's see, Todoist, there we go. Uh, and we want to create a task. Okay, so you could create a project or mark task is being completed, but I like this. I want to create a task. Save and continue. Okay, I'm gonna connect my account real quick. All right, and through the magic of stopping and uh, starting again, it's connected. All right, so let's continue. So this is where um, you can add it to a project. You can have it go, the default is your inbox. That's generally how I like to do it because I, I want um, it to go into my inbox so that I can then, then sort it. But again, if you're using multiple uh, Slack channels or sorry, Slack, you know, if you, have different well you could do channels or different businesses things like that you may want to have this um, be tagged with a project ID so leave that up to you title and this is where you can tie in the fields from um, what the slack message was so do you want the text do you want the user do you want the channel generally it's the message text right because you want to have it put in there what it was that you're starring um, so that's generally all I do and you can add something in here maybe like from Slack to deal with. Okay, and then um, a note, um, you can do additional um, information. Again, this is really um, obviously highly customizable, anything you wanna do in here. Um, and then you've got a lot of other um, things in here. There's a couple that I think are really important, the due date. You can read their date time help here. Um, I like it to be for today because I want it to go into my inbox and if you don't have a date set it just goes into your inbox with no date so you'll never see it unless you review everything in your inbox. So having today forces it to be added. Um, again if you work in a certain workflow you might want it to be tomorrow um, so that you're not cluttering today's inbox. You know it just depends how you use Todoist. All right and then priority um, this just gives it do you want it a priority. And I believe priority one is top priority and where it gets like a red flag. And then priority four is uh, no flag. And so it's just like a general inbox task. And then your labels. All right, so you click continue um, and it tests it, make sure it's working. And then you, boom, you've got it. So as an example here, I've got uh, Slack set up 
and all you would do is, this is a really important message. Let's say somebody sent something to you, all you do is start it, and then boom, um, it's taken care of and it's put into your Todoist task list. So I find this super helpful. Um, it's something I use on an almost daily basis. It's really nice because I can um, be in Slack, see something I need to get to, but I can't take action on it right now. And instead of having to go back and look for it, I can just click on the star and automatically know that it's going to be in my Todoist list. So. Anyways, hopefully that's helpful. Um, if you liked it and you want to get more of this stuff, click subscribe below or in the description, you can go to the website, um, hop on and sign up for emails um, and send out emails with updates to subscribers, um, some special stuff from time to time as far as getting help with productivity or process. Um, and I also go to them first for ideas on what people want to see more of, you know, if it's more process oriented stuff, maybe diving into Trello or, um, you know, process street or a lot of this other stuff or putting together some custom things. So anyways, hopefully, uh, hear from you, leave a comment below if you got any questions, um, or ideas on this and I'll see you next time.